good morning my darlings welcome back to another video today i want to be talking about a fragrance that i have been obsessing over and i mean obsessing over it's crazy um i want to share that perfume with you and also i have a huge haul coming up and it's all going to be about chanel so i have a massive haul for you guys i want to share everything that i've picked up this is actually over a space of i would say the last two weeks two to three weeks i've been buying <laughs> a few um products but i've been saving everything in here to open this up with you guys or just to share what i have so let's just start um i'm so excited to start this video so let's start off with the fragrance that i have been obsessing over guys when i say obsessed um it's because this fragrance is a perfume that i just absolutely love and i think it just makes a perfect daytime scent it's this perfume here it's my chance or tonde and this is by chanel so guys i have been loving this perfume and i just wanted to share this with you for like a few reasons number one i've been reaching for this perfume in the daytime because it just smells so clean soft fresh it's powdery it's floral a little bit sweet in terms of the florals in here it's very delicate it's just an easy perfume to wear and i think from the collection by chanel this is the most wearable i think it's soft it's pretty i think this is a perfume that would suit a younger audience as well so anything from the age of 18 plus guys i am addicted to this now if i can i'm going to insert a video either here or there if i can to show you where the dent was earlier this year and if you can see the dent there it was probably about somewhere here and that was about two months ago i have been spritzing this perfume like crazy and um i'm just enjoying it so much it's so pleasant i receive the most compliments when i do wear this guys i'm actually shocked now i'm sure you guys know that i used to be a very light sprayer um, I used to spray maybe two to four times, maybe around my neck, around my hair, a general spray, and maybe my wrist, that was about it. Now I'm trying my hardest to over spray, and that's only because I want to use up my fragrances. I have such a collection where the dent is hardly <laughs> growing, so I'm trying to over spray. And seeing as I have been over spraying this, guys, I'm receiving even more compliments because people can smell this perfume now as you guys know the autonde range by chance is very much a very light delicate floral perfume dries down to this powdery musk with some amber the cedar in here we have a base of jasmine but i love the fruitiness in the opening it's quince it's grapefruit it's fresh it's sparkling but it's not too fresh it's more of your daytime floral it's soft and delicate guys i just love this perfume so much it's unbelievable and i normally pair this guys with my lotion these two together are stunning 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 i layer this fragrance and to be honest guys i've done an update on this actually this is lasting on my skin for about 10 hours when i say 10 hours this fragrance is going to sit on your skin for 10 hours but it's going to radiate anything between two to three hours i think that's when it's most powerful but this does stay on your clothes that's a good thing about it i do receive a lot of compliments people saying to me oh you just sprayed and it's like maybe it's radiating more from my clothes or my hair i do love this perfume i absolutely love it i think you guys would love it too if you like florals but you don't want anything that's too fresh too green um or too sharp this is soft people might feel like this is a sort of basic scent um but i think if you're just looking for a daytime scent something that's pleasant inviting clean with a powdery dry down delicate florals i do recommend chance autonde so guys when i say i'm obsessed i've been spraying this like 10 times a day honestly i would say about 10 times a day and i do love this perfume so that's my chance and i do have this is my edt and i also do have the eau de parfum now i did purchase this perfume 
not on its release i think i may have bought this in 2020 so this i did buy maybe two years ago now now i feel like guys honestly these two fragrances are extremely similar i did buy this because it does have a heart of rose and i was really drawn to that rosy note but I can't say that it's so drastically different from the original, the EDT. This one is stronger. It's more of a darker rose or a darker floral. It smells strong, like it smells heavy, whereas this is light and fluffy. Out of the two, I would say I prefer the original because it's delicate, it's soft. However, this does smell very similar, but it just has a deep, floral note. The rose in here is more dark, it's strong, it's powerful and I do like this perfume. Now value for money guys, this is my tip for you guys. If you're thinking about buying this perfume, I honestly would go for the EDT. The reason being is because I feel like the wear that I receive from an EDT is more or less the same as the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum is going to last well, to be honest, I feel like it doesn't last any longer. It's just stronger. It just has a stronger floral note. So I would save your money and go for the EDT. And I do prefer the scent of the EDT. It's soft, like I said. So that's something to bear in mind. It does have that rosy heart, rose and jasmine. But I can't say it's extremely rosy. Um... It's just a delicate floral. I do love the bottle. I love the design. I love the cap. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. I do love it. So guys, when I say I'm obsessed, these are the fragrances I've been wearing. Chance or Tante has always been like a signature spring scent for me. I did start off with this bottle here, which is the EDT, and I had another one as well. I have an empty of this. Um, and I always buy this. This would always be in my collection. Every spring I reach for this. And um, I'm quite surprised that I'm wearing it so much now. It's really stunning, really elegant, and if your style is extremely feminine and soft, then I do recommend this perfume. I think this suits every single age. It's a great grab-and-go perfume. So yes, that's my Chante Autant. Here I do have the 150ml, which is the five ounce bottle. So hence why I'm overspraying this, because I did buy this perhaps three years ago. So I really need to get through this bottle. So I am overspraying a bit more of that one. So anyway, enough about my chance or tons. Can I show you what else I picked up from Chanel? So I've been dying to share my products with you because it's been such a long time. I've been collecting all these items and um, I just want to open them already. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I've been buying over the last, I would say the last couple of weeks, I've just been going crazy. But let's continue with my chance collection. I think if you guys would like, I might do a whole um, haul video or my Chant Autant collection if you would like to see all the bath products I have and how they perform and a review on that, just let me know down below in the comment section. So take the time now, let me know what you think down below in the comments. So let's get started with everything I bought in here and I'm going to continue with Chant. Okay, so I was really excited about this item I'm about to show you and that's because it's limited edition. This is my Chant Autant scented bath tablet. And when I first saw the packaging, I was just like, oh, this is so cute. I need to have this in my collection. And um, to be honest, I kind of forgot about it. And I did buy the Chanel number no. five version last year when they were celebrating 100 years of Chanel number no. five. So this I totally forgot about. And then I thought, oh my gosh, let me pick these up. And they are so cute. The smell is amazing. I'll just show you here if you can see inside. So inside you have 10 tablets in there and it smells absolutely divine, guys. It's like such a treat um, for your bath time, for self-care moments, for your feminine journey. I absolutely love this. Now, I haven't tried it. I've only just unboxed it like last night. So I haven't actually used it, but um, when I do, I will update you guys. I just love the design. So see if you can pick this up. This is still available in John Lewis and it may be available in Harrods as well. 
I'm not sure, actually on Chanel.com you should be able to find this as well, but do hurry because I don't think it's going to be out for very long. So that's that. This is my body lotion for the Chance Autonde range and like I showed you earlier, guys this is just beautiful. I wear this a lot on my skin, I just love the texture of it, it smells so soft and clean. These scents are designed for spring guys, like for me spring is all about delicate soft scents that sort of take you into the summer months so i don't want anything too heavy but i want something very delicate and feminine this i do love it's almost like a skin scent it's soft powdery this is lovely um so that's that and then um what else did i buy from that range but then guys i did have a little um poll on my instagram and if you're not following me on instagram please go over follow me on instagram it's charlene ford official you'll find me there i interact with you guys and have little conversations <laughs> and um yeah i bought the off fresh and um this is the edt version and yeah this is the first time me ever buying this and i'm not too sure whether I'm going to keep this one as yet so this is just like a horse I'm going to share with you everything that I bought but I'm still deciding whether I'm going to keep it at 100 mil because I'm trying to think whether I'm going to wear this as this is such a green citrusy scent I'm not a huge fan of green perfumes at all <laughs> but I thought this might be nice and refreshing for the spring and summer and it's so popular here guys you guys are telling me how much you love this and I have to say when I first tried this scent I was put off because of the colour because I just knew it was going to be green and too strong. So I never actually tried this on my skin until recently I tried it and it really does dry down really nicely. The florals start to perform so pretty on the skin so I might just give this a try and see. But I might go down maybe a size or two. I might change this for the 30ml or the 50ml. I don't think I'm going to use 100ml of this fragrance. So that's my Off Fresh very popular that one so let's just see and then here I did buy ah oh, this is Chance now I think I've finished with my Autonde but this is my Chance this is the original the Eau de Toilette this is my favorite version and I do own the Eau de Parfum I'm running out of the EDT so I bought a 50 mil which I know is going to be too small so I'm going to exchange it for a larger size because this I absolutely adore this perfume it's patchouli, it's floral, it's fresh, it's very elegant and it's a scent you can wear all year round. I do like to wear this in the spring and the autumn and winter um, but the Eau de Parfum is perfect for the winter seasons, it's a bit more warm and it really does perform better than this one. This one doesn't last very long but it's such a beautiful scent, I do not mind overspraying this one. So that's my Chance for the Toilette. So yes, I might just change this to a larger size, that one. The next item I have is my Gabrielle Chanel. Now this is the hair mist. I absolutely love the essence and I think that's the only one I haven't added to my collection as yet. I do have Gabrielle, the original perfume, but I do not own the essence. So I think I might buy that, but in the meantime I bought the hair mist. I thought it'd be nice to spritz, you know, in the summer and in the spring. Um, so I've got that to try. Can't wait to open this one up. I have my Coco Mademoiselle hair mist as well. It's spring guys, we're heading into the summer soon enough. And one thing I do enjoy is hair perfume in the spring, as it's not too heavy on the skin, especially in the summertime. Sometimes perfumes can just be a bit too overwhelming in the summer and you just want something quite light and delicate. And sometimes in the heat, it just evaporates too quickly. So I thought, um, let me stock up on some of my hair mist. So I bought another one. I also bought the Chanel Number no. 5, guys. And to be honest, I do already have the Chanel Number no. 5 hair mist. But I really like this bottle. It's a different shape. It looks like the original bottle. So I bought this as well. So those are the hair mists that I bought. And sometimes I just like to wear this in the daytime. You know, you go into the park, you're going for a stroll, or you're going out for tea or brunch or something like that. It's just a daytime thing. You might just want something very light. So I bought those. I also bought this item here, which I've sort of started opening already. So I might just unbox it fully anyway, because... I just wanted to smell this one. So this is my deodorant. This is the original um, Chance, and it looks like that. That's that there. 
So this is the original and I really do love, like I said, I love Chant. It's one of my favorite perfumes by Chanel. I think this would be maybe my second to third. Um, let's just take the lid off here. So you've got the spray there and I really do love the pink tones of this. It's really nice and feminine. That's that. My Coco Mademoiselle Moisture Mist. And then I do have my Chanel number no. five deodorant as well. I have all of those there, which I will be unboxing soon enough. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to divide it up by collection. So I'm going to share with you all of my Chanel number no. five items or my Chants and my Autant together as a collection video. Cause I think I need to update you guys. So the last video I did was a while ago now. And um, yeah, that's everything in terms of my products. But look how cute this is, guys. I have to show you. It's so cute. So this is a sample of all the different um, Chance perfumes. And it comes in this cute little box here. And um, like I said, I can actually try out the Off oh, Fresh again on my skin. And this is so, so sweet. You have all the different Chance samples in there. So you can just see it there. And um, the samples are just there. So I'm gonna play around with those again. So it looks so sweet. It's actually a miniature version. If I can just quickly show you now. It's a miniature version of my bath tablets as well. So that's really cute. And I love this pink. It's like a frosted pink box. It's so cute. I love it. Great for gifting, that one. So yeah, those are my samples in there that I'm gonna play around with. And then I also picked up, I'll just share with you the samples that I picked up as well. So I have quite a few. Um, actually, would you like me to go through all the samples that I received from Chanel? Is that something you would like to see? If so, let me know, because I have millions. I don't even know why I have so many of these things. Um, but I can share them with you, just let me know. So I have my sample of my eye makeup remover which is something I absolutely love. I've been using this for so many years now. And I have to say, this is a tiny size. You have 10 mil in here, but it does last. If you're going away for the weekend, you're going to the countryside, then I do recommend something as even as small as this to remove your eye makeup. So let's open this one. I just wanna show you, it's a bi-face. You do shake this up to activate the product. It looks like that. I do love this. I find this really moisturizing for my skin. And I love the scent of it as well. It's really gentle on my eyes. I do like this one. In case I need to do like any touch-ups and things like that, I have this in my makeup bag, so that's handy. Oh, also I bought nail polish as well. So I bought a 578 New Dawn by Chanel. And this is like another nude shade. And you guys know I do love like nude sort of tones. It's either nude or pink usually, um, my nail color. And this one here, I really do like for the spring. I thought this would be nice in the spring. So yeah, that's New Dawn, it's called. And it's a soft mushroom nude shade. So that's my kind of shade. So I might be trying that out very soon. I do like the formulas for the nail polish. Um, for me, nail polish, I like to change my nail color frequently. Usually I do change it once a week. Um, at the moment I'm wearing SC. This is one of my favorite nude nail um, colors. So I'll link it down below if you are interested in this shade. But I think it's so beautiful on any skin tone, absolutely any skin tone. And I think if you have a brown tan skin tone, it's really going to bring out the brown hues in this pinky nude. So it's really stunning, I think, on all colors and complexions. It's so pretty really feminine. So that's that. And then I do have my Le Creme by Sublimage as well. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is a dream. Beautiful product here. I have a few more samples here. This is my Eau de Cologne. And this one I have tried on my skin. It looks like this. And it's very fresh, guys. Perfect for spring and summer. Fresh citrus. I do love that one. And the other sample I have for you guys is a sample, which is really nice. I have Coco Mademoiselle, but this is the Eau de Parfum Intense. And guys, Coco Forever, absolutely, I agree. <laughs> I love the patchouli, rich woody tone to this perfume. It's excellent for an evening scent. This is very much your evening sensual warm scent. I do love it, it's really gorgeous. So that brings me to the end of today's video. I wanted to share with you the perfume that I have been 
picking up the mist guys I've been so addicted to this perfume and it's not like this fragrance wasn't in my collection before it's always been in my collection this has always been my staple like signature scent for the spring months and I've just found a new love for it or a new appreciation and I don't know there's one thing about Chanel it's like there's moments when I just always love the fragrance and it comes to a time when I'm really addicted to the perfume and I think that's the time when now I'm really addicted to my Chance Autant. Definitely try my Chance Autant. I find this so beautiful as a daytime scent. I might even wear it today. So I'm going out for tea later and this is just very pleasant, pretty. I love it guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so addicted to this. So I wanted to share with you the fragrances that I've been picking up the most this month. Actually, yeah, March and April. I've been wearing this a lot. What do you think of this? I know some people are like, this is a scent that it doesn't stand out or it's just too plain or something. But for me, it just smells like clean skin. It's like fresh out of the shower. It reminds me of sparkling champagne and then it smells like you just stepped out of the bath and you've just washed your hair and it's beautiful. Let me know if you'd like to see my whole collection for Chanel number no. five or my Coco Mademoiselle. Let me know down below in the comments. So guys, I am wishing you a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.